It's January 5th, 2023. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I'm going to do a little experiment with a lithium iron phosphate battery that I bought back in the summer of 2021, and I put it aboard my former wooden powerboat, Tortuga, to run all of the systems except engine starting uh, for about three months and uh, then took it off the boat when I put the boat into storage, brought it home. After I took the battery off the Tortuga in the fall of 2021, I last used it in December of 2021 to test the Ray Marine chart plotter I bought from my sailboat Sequester. And in December of 2021, I recharged the battery and it's just been sitting in my guest room which has kept it about 55 to 60 degrees since then. So it has been about 13 months since this battery has been used. So let's take a look at it and test it to see what the voltage is now. And then I'm going to hook a charger up to it and recharge it to see how much it takes to get it back up to full charge. I've got a Victron smart battery charger that will tell me how much power uh, the battery takes during its charge cycle. So let's have a look at the battery and get going. Okay, here's the battery. It's an Ampere Time. They've changed their name. They're now Lithium Time. But this is a 100 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery that I bought in July, I believe, of 2021. So I'm going to hook it up and we're going to see where the voltage is right now. Okay, after sitting for about 13 months, the voltage is at 13.16 volts. So I'm going to set up my uh, Victron charger and we're going to completely recharge this battery and find out how much it self discharged in just over a year. Okay, I set the battery charger to uh, lithium iron phosphate and you can see it's in bulk charge right now and it's charging with 15 amps. So, and it's already pushed the voltage up to 1409. So, Let's uh, take a look at the history, and you can see, so far, we've put in, essentially, nothing. <laughs> okay, you can see that it's only been charging for about two minutes, and the uh, battery charger has pushed it up to 14.2 volts and dropped it down into absorption mode. So, uh, and the current has already dropped off from 15 amps where it started, down to 10.3 and falling. So uh, we're just going to let this go while I have lunch and that should bring it all the way up to uh, a full charge and uh, see how it goes. Okay, the battery has been on a charger for about an hour and a half and the uh, charger has pushed the voltage up to 1435 which is what I have it set for and although it says it's still in absorption it's putting zero amps in. So this battery has achieved full charge and I don't know if you can read that it put in 0.7 amp hours so basically uh, this battery is uh, lost a little under 1% in about 13 months of sitting at room temperature so uh, I'm really impressed with that just didn't lose any uh, charge really in uh, over a year of sitting, which is quite amazing. I was thinking it was going to be you know, maybe 10-15% down, take 10 or 15 amp hours, but uh, nowhere near <laughs> less than one amp hour to bring it right back up to full charge. So that's that. Uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, 100 amp hour unused for 13 months and it lost less than one percent of charge uh, it was sitting at full charge and it's basically back there again i'll have to put some loads on it and draw it down a little bit but uh, it really uh, doesn't take much to push that battery right back up to full charge it doesn't uh, self-discharge significantly i mean 
It's a 100 amp hour battery. It took 0.7 amp hours to completely recharge it. So that means uh, lost 0.7% of its charge in 13 months. So that's like uh, oh, 0.06% roughly per month, which is really amazing compared to what a lead acid battery would have done in the same time. So anyway, just thought I'd show you this. Uh, I was going to recharge that battery anyway. I expected it, as I said, to be down a lot more than it was. But, you know, it wasn't, so uh, fine and dandy. I'll set it aside and uh, try and get a little more use out of it this year than I did in the last year. So if you found this interesting, please give me a like. And if you haven't, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel? Thanks for watching.